Believe it or not, companies actually spend money doing research on how to make their products more crappy so over time you spend more money on them. If they made something that lasted for a very long time, well, you would not spend as much money on the long run. Think of light bulbs. If you bought a light bulb that lasted you the rest of your life, how many more light bulbs would you buy? None, and that means more money for the people that make the light bulbs. But what's cool is there is one company out there that I am seeing that's actually doing the opposite, wanting their stuff to last longer. Take a look, shall we? So if you are a subscriber to this channel, which I'm sure you are, you know that I love Diablo, or as I like to call him, Diablo. Now that said, before we go any further, I wanna let you know that I have never ever accepted a dime from Diablo. I've never been paid by them, but I wanna let you know that I just love their stuff and there are certain things out there that I just love and if it's a company that I really respect and think they do a good job on, I'm gonna keep bringing them to the channel. That said, if a company that I do love ends up making something this crap, I'm gonna let you know about that as well. That's how I roll, yo. Which brings us back to Diablo. For all of our tool duels in the channel, we usually switch everything over to Diablo. Anytime I do woodworking projects, I always use Diablo. They're just better quality and I don't use other blades because I end up spending more money on those blades. Which that brings me back to what we're looking at today. Now sandpaper is one of those things that you buy over and over and over again. If you buy cheap stuff, well, it's gonna suck and then you're gonna have to, let me show you what I'm talking about. Thank you for calling Diablo, how may I help you? Hello Diablo. Yes, Diablo, how may I help you? Yes, I need to order 53 boxes of sandpaper. Uh, 53 boxes, excellent. That will make us a lot of money. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Thank you for calling Diablo, I'm guessing you probably need sandpaper. Hello Diablo. What do you want to order? I need to order 23 boxes of sandpaper. Only 23, what about the 50? No, 23 boxes. Uh, you're just so cheap, TRZ. Uh, whatever. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Hello, thank you for calling Diablo, do you need sandpaper? Hello, Diablo, this is Tour Review Zone. Nobody likes you here, Tour Review Zone. What do you want? I need to order 10 boxes. 10 boxes of what? Of Diablo. That doesn't even make any sense. I'll put you down for 50. 50 boxes, TRZ. These sand nets are killing me. Diablo? What? This is Tour Review Zone. What? what do you want? I had to sell my Ferrari because of you and these sand nets. I still have a bunch of your sandpaper. I don't need to place any more orders. Uh, I knew this would happen, Tour Review Zone. <laughs> Goodbye, Tour Review Zone. Yeah, I've been using the sand nets exclusively. Like this is the only thing I use. I do not get any other sandpaper but these sand nets. I, I love them. The only issue is, you know, I had to use these on my sanders and sometimes I wanted to hand sand and I couldn't do that because I didn't have any sand net paper that I wanted to use on a block. I do now. So not only do they have the sand net for your sanders, but check this out. They came out with a whole new line of products. Now you still have your regular sandpaper, which is real nice like. But now they have the all new sand nets that you can use on your sanding blocks. Yeah, they're drywall sanding sheets, universal reusable sanding sheets. You can get them really small or you can get them really big. Yeah, you can slice and dice these bad boys up a little bit and then throw them on your sander or on your block for the hand sanding. But not only that, they have new sponges out here. So if you want to wet sand or do whatever you need to do with those, they have different grits. This is 180. They also have 60 and a couple others. More sanding blocks, so if you're woodworking or doing drywall. This right here is actually some scuff pads, so if you're doing final prep work or you're trying to scuff something down, maybe trying to repaint it. They have a bunch of different finishes, so very fine, ultra fine, micro fine. This is general purpose, fine. This stuff right here is a 600 grit, so it's like a polish. They also got the reusable sanding blocks, so you can throw your sand nets on here. You got the hook lock in the back of this. Got a lot of foam protection right there. And this kit actually comes with the sandpaper in it. We're gonna try this here and I'm gonna show you why this stuff is so fantastic. That is so good, it might actually break Diablo. So today we're gonna use the block in the sand net here. And I'm gonna show you why this stuff is so awesome. Now on this here, the block, you got a softer side, which is a little bit more squish squish. Gives you a little bit more flexibility. So if you're trying to get in those tighter areas, you, know, you can push down and it'll sort of contour to it. Then on the back, it's really firm. So if you wanna keep everything very straight, very flush, well, I'll put that on there like so, and it just sticks on. That's real nice like. Wait a minute, hold up. You know what else is real nice like? The new TRZ merch. That's right. We got new hats, new tank tops. They say real nice like. So if somebody asks you, how's your day going? You could say, real nice like. 
And of course, you got that sweet, sweet TRZ logo right in the back. Super comfortable, don't fade, don't shrink, and they help support the channel. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. And that said, I truly appreciate your support. All right, so right here, we got a regular piece of sandpaper, and this stuff is sort of just like sprayed on there. And what happens is, the more you use it, the more this texture gets rubbed off. Now, the reason why I like the sand nets now is because that really does not apply. It's just a fabric, and what happens is, even though you use it, it doesn't get rubbed off, but you can clean these things out. You can suck them out. You can do whatever you need to do to clean them up and they're reusable. All right, so right here, we have a piece of painted baseboard and we can take our sandpaper and basically sand this down. Smooth it out, smooth it out. Problem is when this stuff starts getting gunked up like that, well, you can clean it out, but when you start cleaning it out, you start rubbing away all the grit. Now let's try this with sand net paper. Diablo. Now, even though that's gunked up, I don't have to sit there with a wire brush or whatever I'm trying to clean that out. It's basically see-through right here, so I can just do that and I'll knock most of it off, but then I can come over with a hose or a sweeper or whatever. I can vacuum that stuff out, or I can just run water through the back of this and it'll just drain it out, really. So just by doing this, I mean, it's so much easier than using this, and then you have to worry about damaging the sandpaper because, well, it's paper. You start getting those cracks up on the inside, and really you're just throwing your money away. So even though these things may cost me a little bit more in the beginning, they are definitely worth the investment because they last me way longer than the conventional sandpaper ever have. And for how much I use this stuff, I'm probably going to put Diablo out of business all by myself. I'm sorry, Diablo. So what's really cool about this is that they continue to innovate. They came out with a bunch of new products that I personally will be using nonstop. You always see them in my videos. And again, I am not sponsored or paid by them. They are just my favorite brand. Everybody has a favorite brand when it comes to blades and sandpaper, and they are it for me. Now, the sand net discs that you probably have used in the past, they, again, are my favorite. You get that extra padding on the back, and even though they continue to come out with those, I am happy to see they're coming out now with the, the paper like, so we can use this on our blocks if you're doing drywall or just sanding something, you want that straight polish or finish remover or whatever you're trying to do. It is nice to see that they are innovating and coming out with new products. And I think that's what we all like to see from these companies. And even though you are used to companies that make something and they break within the first year, two years, or maybe they don't last as long, something like sandpaper, light bulbs, or whatever, it's nice to see that a company actually does want to make something that will last you longer so you don't have to go out and buy it every other day. And that, my friends, is real nice, like. And even though it might cost you a little bit more in the beginning, it's definitely going to save you money in the end. But I want to know what you think. Have you used the sand net paper? Are you planning on using the new stuff that I showed you today? I love hearing your feedback. So again, in that comment section below, please let me know what you think. Now, if you could smash that like button, get subscribed. I <laughs> greatly appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.